This short, simple guide to the element sulfur will provide facts and information for chemistry students who are learning about the periodic table and, in particular, the element sulfur. Each chemical element is given a unique chemical symbol, which is used all over the world. The chemical symbol for sulfur is S. The chemical symbols of elements come from their English, Greek, or Latin names. The first letter of a symbol is always a capital letter, and if there are any subsequent letters, they are expressed in lower case. The name sulfur originates from the Latin word sulfurium, meaning to burn yellow. The Latin word was a derivation of the Sanskrit word sulfur, meaning yellow. The ancient name for sulfur is brimstone, which came from the Old English word brinston, meaning burning stone. Both the words sulfur and brimstone therefore translate to mean to burn. However, the word brimstone is now restricted to biblical usage. There are two spellings of the word sulfur. The American spelling of sulfur was introduced by Noah Webster when he published his American Dictionary of the English Language in 1828. Noah Webster advocated spelling reform by removing unnecessary letters from words. The American spelling is now agreed to be the standard form. All of the chemical elements are given a unique atomic number. The atomic number for sulfur is 16. Atoms are made up of three kinds of smaller particles, called protons, neutrons, and electrons. The atomic number is the number of protons in the atom. The chemical elements of the periodic table are shown in order of atomic number and identified by their symbol. The periodic table is a chart showing the symbols and the atomic numbers of all known elements, such as sulfur, in one large grid. The chemical elements of the periodic table are placed in order of their atomic numbers. Atomic numbers increase as you move across a row, called a group, or down a column, called a period. The atomic number of sulfur is 16. The element symbol for sulfur is S. Sulfur was first discovered by the ancient civilizations. It was often used in their religious rites as the odor of burning sulfur was believed to ward off evil spirits. The ancient Romans used sulfur in pyrotechnic displays in the Roman Colosseum, and also in the production of incendiary weapons, including Greek fire. In 1787, Antoine Lavoisier listed sulfur as an element and not a compound. In 1867, sulfur was discovered in underground deposits in Louisiana and Texas. Sulfur is produced chiefly by the frash process for the extraction of sulfur from subsurface deposits. It was devised by German-American chemist Hermann Frasch in 1887. The element sulfur is one of over 100 different chemical elements that are known to modern chemistry. Each element is first identified at room temperature and pressure as being a solid, liquid, or gas, referred to as states of matter. Sulfur is a solid at normal room temperature and pressure. Each element has physical properties that can be observed and measured, such as color, density, and odor. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how a substance will react with other substances, such as water or oxygen. What is sulfur? In a general overview of the element, we can at first describe sulfur as a solid. It is a pale yellow non-metallic brittle element and is widely distributed in close proximity to hot springs and volcanoes and is also found in many minerals and ores. Sulfur occurs in a combined state in gypsum, pyrite, and galena. The more specific physical properties of sulfur can usually be observed using our senses or involve a numerical measurement, such as determining its boiling, freezing, and melting points. At room temperature, it is a pale yellow non-metallic substance. Sulfur is odorless, tasteless, and insoluble in water. It is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Upon melting, sulfur is converted into a mobile yellow liquid, which turns into a dark brown mass. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how sulfur will react with other substances when it is changed chemically. Sulfur is chemically reactive, especially upon heating, and combines with almost all the elements. Its oxides make sulfurous acid and sulfuric acid. Familiar compounds are hydrogen sulfide, a poisonous gas that smells like rotten eggs, and sulfuric acid, which is used in fertilizers. Upon heating, sulfur reacts with metals, forming the corresponding sulfides. Once the properties of an individual element have been identified, it is placed into a group of elements which have common properties and characteristics. Sulfur is in the group called the non-metals. The seven elements classified as non-metals are located in groups 1, 14, 15, and 16 in the periodic table. The names of the non-metals are hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, phosphorus, and selenium. The non-metals are elements that do not look like metals and can be described as brittle solids. They are poor electrical and thermal conductors, but are great insulators. Non-metallic elements exist at room temperature as gases, such as oxygen, and also as solids, such as carbon. 
Once the properties of an element have been established, we then have the ability to identify how it can be used. Sulfur is used in the manufacture of matches, fireworks, insecticides, pharmaceuticals, gunpowder, batteries, and detergents. The properties of sulfur are classified by many other factors, including the melting point, boiling point, atomic mass, and density of the element. All of these precise measurements, together with additional facts and information, can be found on our website. So ends our simple guide to the element sulfur. We have created a unique collection of videos on many other important elements that have been developed to enable chemistry students to gain a fast overview of the properties of each of the elements together with their discovery and history. Check out our easy video guides to the elements via our website.